when they collide. Another way to make sounds is by vibrating. Speak, sing, and hum. Your vocal cords vibrate. Stringed instruments make sound when their strings vibrate. When you dip a metal spoon into a cup of hot choco, the heat from the water is transferred to the spoon. As the spoon absorbs the heat, the molecules in it vibrate faster and increase their kinetic energies. The molecules would have a different kinetic energy depending on how much heat they have absorbed. These are an example of solar-powered LED lights. And as the name suggests, it has a small solar panel at its back, which converts sunlight into electricity. It is very energy efficient because you don't have to plug this in in any power sockets. You can just place it under direct sunlight and it will recharge by itself. We use these as an alternative light source every night. This is an example of an elastic potential energy. It utilizes as an energy absorbers. This means that an object's kinetic energy is absorbed by elastic materials and convert it into elastic potential energy. Cushions, springs, and elastic bonds are such materials. A mortar and pestle is a grinding tool that utilizes the up and down motion of the pestle to pound seeds, grains, and other food materials. With this example, it's best to grind whole cloves into powder using a pestle and mortar. Thank you. 
So, we have our fan here. We will locate the label that displays its wattage consumption, which is commonly found at the back or at the bottom. Let's see here. It's not here. I'll put under here. So, it says here, 60 watts, meaning it consumes approximately 60 watts in an hour depending on what settings you are using. Now, we will find how many hours it is used in a day. In our case, we use our fan 24 hours in a day. But of course, we use different fans to prevent overheating. Now, we will find how many hours it is used in a month. But instead of observing our fan for a month, we can calculate by multiplying 30 days by 24 hours, which is 720 hours, then multiplied by 60 watts. Now, we will get 43,200 watts or 43.2 kilowatts per month. We will be doing the same to the flat iron, labeled 950 watts per hour. We use our iron weekly for roughly 2 hours because we only do online classes and my dad works at home, so there is no need to press clothes and uniforms that much. On an average, a month would have 4 weeks, so... 2 hours multiplied by 4 weeks equals 8 hours multiplied by 950 watts. We have 7,600 watts or 7.6 kilowatts per month. This television indicates that it uses 90 watts per hour. But we rarely use this TV because we usually watch Netflix and YouTube on our mobile phones and laptops. We only use this TV during weekends because of my little sister's online ballet class for four hours. So, four hours multiplied by four weeks equals 16 hours multiplied by 90 watts. We have 1,440 watts or 1.44 kilowatts per month. With our data already completed, you would notice that although the flat iron requires 15 times more electricity to operate compared to the fan, still the fan consumes more electricity as it is shown in our data since it is running 24-7 or continuously as compared to the other two, which are rarely being used. Audio